Hi everyone. This is a companion video to the one where I showed you how Windows 3.1 on DOSBox works. This video will just be me going through the process of getting it set up. So I'm going to get straight to it. To set this up, you need to provide your own disks of Windows 3.1 and the software you wish to use. But I will provide links to the drivers in the description. Copy these installation programs into a folder that you use for DOSBox. I created a folder called install. Here I am in a DOS prog. I'll navigate to the install folder I created. Inside this folder, I have another folder called Winstall with the Windows disks. I'll go inside that folder and type setup. Hit enter here. I'll choose express setup. Some files will copy and after that's done, you are taken to the next phase of the setup. Here let's type a name and click continue. Confirm by clicking continue again and more files will copy. When that's done, you are shown the printer installation window. I'm not going to set up a printer and I don't even know if DOSBox supports printers. I'll select no printer attached and then click install. The installation is done and I'm asked if I want to run a tutorial. I'll skip it. Now I return to DOS and restart DOSBox. With Windows installed, we now need to install some drivers, specifically sound and video drivers. Let's start with the sound driver. In the DOSBox prompt, I'll navigate to the install directory and in there, I have a directory called sound, which contains the sound driver. I'll go in it and type install. I'll hit enter here to continue. I'll choose full installation. Here it shows as the Windows 3.1 path to be none. I'll move to that section and hit enter and now I'm automatically shown the correct Windows folder. Hit enter here. I'll move back up to proceed using the settings shown and hit enter. In the next screen, I need to confirm which resources are going to be used by DOSBox's sound card. Everything is correct except the interrupt. I need to change it to 7 because that's what DOSBox wants. After I change it, I'll hit enter on proceed using settings shown. The installation will begin and you will see files being copied. When it's done, you are shown some changes to your system the installation program made. Just hit enter and restart DOSBox. Finally, we have to install the video drivers. To do this, we need to navigate to the Windows folder in the DOSBox prompt. Type setup when you are there. When the setup program comes up, go to the display section where it's set to VGA. Navigate all the way to the bottom and select other. You are asked for the location of the video driver. I have my video drivers located in a graphics folder that's inside my install folder. When I hit enter, I'm shown the available display settings for the video card. I'm going to select 640 by 480 with 256 colors. I'm using this because it was what I ran on my old PC. You can choose whatever setting you want though. Now I'll accept this configuration. And the driver files will copy. I'm asked again the location of the driver so I'll type it out again. And the video driver is now installed. We are done with getting Windows 3.1 set up. And now we're done. Please check out the companion video I mentioned earlier. It's in the description. Thank you and I'll see you next time.